It's Tuli Tuli and we have a mystery bag. It's gonna be so much fun. Before we get started, we're going to, well, you're not gonna do anything but sit back and relax. I want to officially thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. I am truly blessed that T, the Silver Stacker, is so supportive with everybody in the community. He has wonderful subscribers and I'm happy that some of you made your way over and took time out of your busy life to watch some of my content, comment, and support my channel. Thank you and that being said, let's get into the mystery bag. All right, so this was not on here. It was just a, a bag and I went to a coin shop and they've always had them. I did, never really thought twice about them. Okay, I decided to get one because I thought, what a fun video. And he pulled two out and I was like, no, I don't know which one to get. But I I actually held, I picked one, I picked one up and I was like, oh, that's heavy. And you know, just cause it's heavy doesn't mean it's good stuff, I guess you could say. So I went with this bag without actually lifting it. And let's see what's inside. I have my trusty, I don't flathead that we're gonna use as a uh, staple remover. <laughs> yes, I see staples off. <laughs> I'm gonna close my eyes and you can see first. I don't, can you see that? No, I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm opening my eyes. Ooh, let's check this out. <laughs> All right, I see plastic. Okay, All right, let's just dump it all out. <laughs> all right, okay, we're going straight for the plastic here. <laughs> SBA, are you watching this, SBA fan? Are you? Is this, what's the plastic mean? <laughs> I've never seen one in plastic before. All right, so 1979S, um, so it means uncirculated. So I'm guessing this came from a proof set. I'm gonna use my process of elimination here, folks. Um, and Littleton Coin Company, and they're located in, uh, well, yeah, we're just gonna say New England <laughs> here. Um, so, pretty cool. I don't, oopsie. <laughs> I don't think this is the year that has the wide rim on it. Okay, that does not look like a wide rim to me. And the back, oopsie. Okay, so the lower part looks wide, I don't know. Anybody know if uh, the Susan B. Anthony dollars in 1979 have a wide rim on the back of the coin or the reverse of the coin? Because that looks, where's my pointer? Okay, so that looks like it's pretty wide, but I thought it was only on the front, honestly. But yeah, um, exciting. I know there's probably gonna be some folks that are subscribed that wanna know more. Hopefully I can get some answers. All right, we got some of these wooden caps here. Um, this is a convention, Dearborn, Michigan, 1989. Wow. And then we have the spring coin show. <laughs> Say yes to Michigan. Uh, that's cool. I don't know why there's so many Michigan coins in, or Michigan uh, wooden Nickels in here. I'm guessing that's what they're called. What a nickels. United States of America coin shows. It was in the spring, April 23, 1989. Coin club. These are pretty cool. Wait, there's. Um, spread it out, spread it out. <laughs> All right, we got two more. Oh, okay, so these are like, I think. Yeah, these are the same thing. Are they different years? Nope, same year. All right, uh, again. Ooh, I know people that hunt up there. Hmm, yes. I'm not part of, I'm not part of deer camp. <laughs> they don't allow ladies. How about them apples? 
I know. I just gotta get my own land and hunt on it myself. But, you know, they're still great people. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna put those over here. That's kind of crazy. They're on, they're on Michigan. You can see and what you can't see. Let's get these forward. All right, so we went over the Susan B. Anthony. Um, I'm gonna pull out the ones that look very similar. Okay, we'll start with these. All right, these are uh, new pens, two, two new pens. Uh, new pens, is that, uh, mm, is that UK? Is that Great Britain? Is pens Great Britain? Um, yeah. Confirm in the comments, please. All right, we have a 78, we have a 1980, 1980, and a 1979. Those are cool. Sorry for the camera bump. Let's put those up here. And what is this ugly coin here? <laughs> yeah, that's ugly. 2005. Where a kid can be a kid. That's, um, uh, what is that? I can't, I can't remember. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese. And you want to know something, folks, ladies and gentlemen? I've never been to Chuck E. Cheese. Growing up, never been there. How about them apples? Anybody else not been to Chuck E. Cheese that is from the Midwest? Because I'm not sure if they were um, all over the U.S. or not. They were national. All right, so yeah, it looks like there's three of them. Pretty cool. I like tokens. T, the silver stacker. He has a word for it. I think it starts with the E. Expo. <laughs> I can't remember what the word is. I, I can visualize it. Exploria, maybe. Um, yeah, I think tokens are cool. I think these would fall under tokens, in my opinion. And. Uh, what else do we have in here? We ha I see some euros. It's a 50 euro. This is a chunky one. Yeah, it's chunky. Okay. Pretty cool. 2002. And do we have any other euros? You usually I can find euros pretty good. Uh, what? This is a euro. Two euro. And yeah, I think maybe the, those are maybe the only two euros in here. Yeah, wait, <laughs> there's a there's a fourth one. Okay, Chucky, you're haunting me. What the heck? Or 2006. I think. I'll, okay, I'm sorry. I was trying to make this a short video. 2004. 2004. Okay, 2004, five, six. What's well, cool? It would have been even cool if it was three, four, five, six, but you know. Um, I'm playing with, I am seeing a V, and this is a United States coin if you're um, from any other country. Yeah, this is a V nickel. That's so cool. I can't believe this is in here. 1910. This is very awesome. The rim is really worn, but what can you expect? Very cool. I think so far this is my favorite piece. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put our favorites. We're gonna put our favorites. We're gonna put our favorites over here by uh, our Inglehart and our Skippy. Those are uh, gonna be our prizes. Or I'm gonna share these with the community, and I'm gonna announce that very soon, sometime this week. What do we have here? I, okay, I noticed this right away because. All right, 1988. It's a $1 Canadian. And I see another one here. This one is 1993. So two Canadian $1. Uh, 